Hey, what's up everybody? This is George coming at you with another video. And this is to show you my CCNA lab. It's also the same lab I used for my CSENT exam. Uh, but you really don't need all this for the CSENT. I just purchased it during it and it was nice having it. Uh, for the CSENT exam, I'd recommend just one switch. I would recommend that uh, one of those Cisco 2950 switches right there. It's a... Um, this one here the 2950 so one of those as well as maybe a 1721 or a uh, one of these 2611s so just one is pretty much fine for the CSENT exam uh, for the CCNA as you can see I went ahead and purchased the uh, Cisco access server the 2501 uh, that's, I think it's 2509 it's the non RJ series I have a 1721 router that I use for practicing the SDM for the CSENT exam so that was for the CSENT on those 2611s unless you get the XM version the SDM will not be on there uh, but quite honestly I didn't even get tested on a single thing in the SDM so I would just not even bother I feel like it was a purchase that I really didn't have to make, but oh well, I, I purchased it anyway. Um, but yeah, for the CCNA, I have three routers, well, an access server, three routers, and two switches. The two switches are, again, 2950s, there's those uh, two green ones in the middle. Um, I have the two 2611 routers, the non-XM. Uh, each of them have a WIC port. Um, I'm sorry, a WIC 1T. Oh, I'm sorry. The WIC, this WIC 1T is actually on the back of the uh, the 1721 right now, which is that one there. So, uh, so that's pretty much all I have for that. Uh, on the back of that 1721, I have a um, NM1 Ethernet port on the back of it. Uh, that I used uh, just to kind of configure trunks and stuff. Uh, that's why I bought the 1721 also is because for configuring trunk ports you need at least a fast Ethernet link and these here are just uh, on the 2611s are only Ethernet. So in retrospect I wish I would have bought the at least one 2611XM uh, also because with the CCNP exam you do need two 2611s so the reason I'm making this video is because since I will be taking the CCMP exam um, a lot of this stuff I'm gonna sell I'm actually gonna sell one of the switches and uh, probably all three routers to go ahead and buy myself uh, two 1841s and two 2611XMs so yeah just wanted to show you guys my uh, my Cisco lab and that's just my my home lab which is separate but uh, yeah so do you guys have any questions let me know uh, as far as the cables go I have uh, the serial cables I have some crossover cables a couple of straight through cables here and uh, that's it I actually have no crossover cables going between the switches at this point but uh, I have those kind of cables so yeah that's pretty much all I would recommend for the CCI CCNA lab, uh, two 2950s, uh, two 2611XMs, uh, rather than what I have here, uh, I would recommend two, two or maybe four, it depends on what you want to do, uh, how many routers you have, uh, but at bare minimum you need two uh, WIC 1Ts, and the serial cables, the rollover cables, crossover cables, the straight through cables to go along with it so that's really it that's all I have for my CCNA lab CCNA lab uh, don't know why I said that twice but uh, that's all it is so hopefully you guys have a good idea of what to buy at this point so thanks for watching I'll catch you all next time